guys, so today I am bringing you my annual NaNoWriMo video. Can you believe NaNoWriMo is tomorrow? I'm shook it. I can't even fathom that. If you don't know, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. It happens every November and it's a time when people come together to try and write 50,000 words, aka a whole novel in a month. And it's honestly terrifying. It's scary. It's crazy. It makes no sense. You'll be tested to your limits. Like, it's wild. I've been doing this since 2010. Um, I have won twice. I won once the first time I did it in 2010. I also won in 2016, which is unbelievable to me, but it happened. I thought about not doing it, but I decided that I really want to hit 10 years in a row um, so that I could just like have that under my belt. And also I really need to write fiction. So like, it's happening. I'm doing it. I don't really know what's going to happen, but it's fine. Last November, I wrote part of a Moulin Rouge retelling. It's fantasy. It has two ladies in the lead parts. Um, they're both on the asexual spectrum. It was a grand idea and I did not execute it well. I quit about 80 pages into the draft and Taylor Swift dropped reputation and I just gave up. But the good news is there's always next year and next year is right now. It's tomorrow, actually. How did that happen? I decided uh, a couple years ago that I no longer care about the rules about NaNoWriMo. Like technically you're supposed to start a new draft. You're not supposed to like edit or rewrite or whatever for the whole month or anything like that. But um, I don't care. I've been doing this for a long time now and I really just want to finish a draft. That's my goal now. It's not even to write 50,000 words. It's like finish a draft. If you can do that, you're golden. And so um, I'm gonna be rewriting my novel from last year. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a mixture of editing in the beginning and then I'm going to scrap a bunch and rewrite the end. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go. I'm honestly terrified. I'm most terrified about starting it because for the past 10 months I have been working on a different draft of a different project. Um, if you know, I've been working on a poetry collection and that poetry collection is on its sixth round of edits. I am working to start my seventh one in December. It is basically done. But because I've been editing poetry for 10 months, um, I'm really nervous to go back into fiction writing. Kind of excited because I'm hoping that all that editing and writing will like have me in a good place mentally for this next fiction draft. But prose is very different from poetry and so I'm not really sure how they're going to match up. I haven't done a lot of mental prep for this next month. I haven't really done a lot of outlining either. Um, I have a general idea of what I want to do. I have some notes on what I want to change and what I really want to work on in this new draft of this book, but um, I'm scared. We'll see. I have a feeling that like I'll write for about four days and then I'll want to quit. So that could happen. I'm not really sure, but I want it to be a source of solidarity for you. If for some reason you are feeling weird about NaNoWriMo, whether it's like you've been doing this for 10 years or it's your first NaNoWriMo, or maybe it's the day before NaNoWriMo or the day of November 1st and you're like, Jenna, should I just, should I do it? Should I just write? Yes, <laughs> I would recommend you do NaNoWriMo. Uh, even though it's kind of the worst thing in the world, um, it will really test you. Um, I think NaNoWriMo always teaches me a lot about myself and time management and just like all sorts of things. I've done NaNoWriMo throughout high school and college um, and every single year you're always going to have something. Like there's never going to be a, a November where you're not doing something. So I hate when people are like, oh I don't have the time to do NaNoWriMo this year. It's like, yeah, I know. Nobody does. But we're still putting ourselves through hell to write, okay? If you can read during the month of November, you can write 2,000 words a day. It's really not hard, okay? Writing 50,000 words, not difficult. Writing 50,000 words you're proud of and 50,000 words of a novel that you're hoping to finish and writing 50,000 words that you wanna go back and edit and stay with, that's the hard part. It's not writing that much. Like I can write 50K in my sleep, it's not hard. Here's a, here's a little bit of motivation for you and for me, future Jenna. In 2016, I really wanted to finish NaNoWriMo. I wanted to win, I wanted to write 50K, I wanted it to happen. And I was doing really great up until about the second week of the month when we had this really big election in America and it was really, really bad. And I cried and I spent a whole week not writing and I still managed to come back from that week. Like I won 2016 NaNoWriMo because I pushed through and I did not let um, a certain man uh, let me not write. So if for some reason you're like, Jenna, I don't know if I can do it. Not sure. I don't think I have the time. I don't think I have the energy. I don't even have an idea. You can. The reason I'm writing for NaNoWriMo is not even for myself. At this point, I am writing because I know that writing and art 
can overcome the darkness that is our world. Like, our world is shit right now. I don't know if you know that. Like, it's awful. Wherever you go, there's some bad thing that's happening. Anywhere, everywhere, all the time. It's fine. Um, I try not to let myself think about it, but I think the only way I can really contribute to the darkness in the world right now is to make art. And I've been writing a poetry collection for 10 months, and, like, I'm hoping that will contribute to the darkness. But, like... If I write this book, like, I could really turn this book into something that's hopeful, something that will, like, make people happy, that will bring myself joy. So it's like, I'm not even writing for myself anymore. Like, I'm writing for the fate of the world. Do you ever think about that? Like, the writers, the artists, uh, the people who make movies or anything like that, you, you're, you're creative, right? You're an artist. You are writing for the fate of our world. You are creating hope. You are creating a light for other people. So even if that doesn't really see the light of day, even if it's the first draft of 20, even if it's something that never really happens, even if you write 10,000 words, even if you write 2,000 words on day one and then you decide to quit, that's still like resisting. Like we are writing to resist the darkness. All that to say, I'm really terrified about NaNoWriMo and I would like other people to panic with me. So um, if you're in the mood to panic, please hit me up down below. Uh, let me know if you're doing NaNoWriMo. Let me know uh, what your project is, if you wanna share that. Um, if you're on the fence, comment down below. Let me know why you don't wanna do NaNoWriMo or why you're scared to do NaNoWriMo. And let's talk through those fears. Let's get it all out there. Let's fight the darkness with NaNoWriMo because that's what I'm gonna do this month. If you wanna follow me on NaNoWriMo.org, I do have a profile. You're welcome to add me as a friend. I'm on there for the whole month of November. So um, hopefully good things come out of this month. I wish you all the best of luck if you're doing NaNoWriMo. If you're not doing Nano, count yourself lucky because uh, we're gonna be going through some dark times the next couple of weeks. But um, this is also a nice friendly reminder to uh, vote in the midterm election. So um, if you're in America and you can vote and you're registered and you're over age, um, please vote. We need it. Especially if you're in Tennessee like I am. Please vote. You could probably vote early if you want to. Yeah, let's let's do this. All right. <laughs> Happy NaNoWriMo week, I guess.